Karma drone. So the customer said uh, it's not flying. I hear the sound. That's no good. Yeah, it's make a lot of noise here. Uh, this customer came from uh, Miami. He drive to here. He contacted the the GoPro and he told him the problem is the update. Well, let me change the to the English so we can understand what's going on. So this is 151. Okay, let me connect it to the internet. Here it said the version is up to date. Oh, it makes so much noise here. Yeah, this one is getting very hot. Yeah, it's getting hot here for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna use mine to test it to see why it's making that noise. Yeah, this one doesn't make any noise. See it? It's work. Okay. Yeah, look like it's connecting fine. So here it said the karma, it's need to, it's need the update to fly. So let's update it. So as you see, this one is connected fine to the controller. It just is going to need the update. And the customer, he has a problem here. Yeah, this one is getting hot, so they can they can buy another one. So it's going to need to replace this for the customer. And next we're going to do the update. So all right, the first we are going to do the reset, and we we'll go to the restore. I already did the reset. So all right, let's turn it off. Powering off. We're going to hold these two buttons to put the controller in a DFU mode or the dull out mode. So we see a gray screen but there is no display and we hear the computer that something connected. So we go where we save it, the files, the updates and the program. So let's go to the Windows PowerShell. Open it as administrator. We are going to do a, a backup and we'll run this comment. So it's doing the backup of the firmware that we have in the Karma to the computer. Like in case if anything happened, we we are going to have the the backup of the software of the karma, and we can restore it back to the original uh, settings. So I done uh, backup the the firmware to the computer, and now we go and flash. So that's the new firmware. That's the name of it, and this is the the old firmware and now it's going I can see one percent two percent so we give it a minute till it's load the uh, other firmware then uh, we finish the setup so the update is done and now let's check here so let's turn it on so we hold the power button till the light completely goes off Then we power it on. So we see the logo is mean the firmware installed correctly. So let's connect to the internet. Well, let's do a peering first. So here is the, the blue light, it means the peering is done. Pairing successful. It's it's done. That's good. Alright, we are going to do some updates. So let's download the updates. It's uh, doing another updates now from the, the website. It's not like before, it's no exception the updates. So we wait for it till it's, the update is done. So this is the, the version and you can see the 2.5, 2 2.50.1. Let's do it. Okay, you just start here? Yeah, hold it. Hold it.
Wow! <laughs>